Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a very special no budget edition of Bunches of Lunches. This week was the last week of school for the kids. <laughs> And to help celebrate, I decided to let the kids have a no budget, pick whatever you want from wherever you want lunch challenge. guys come along with us as we head to four different stores find out exactly what the kids picked out for themselves and stay tuned because I have a very special surprise for each of the kids as well <gasps> wow! this is awesome! to help celebrate the beginning of summer now friends even though our school year is coming to an end and I won't be needing to make school lunches I still plan on sharing lots of fun lunch ideas over the summer. I'm definitely gonna be doing more subscriber lunches, and I'll also be sharing lots of other fun videos that focus on family, food, and of course, fun. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell. That way, you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And without further ado, let's get shopping. I don't have a ton of rules when it comes to what the kids can pick for their lunches, but I do have just a few things. Number one is that their lunch cannot be all treats. So no, you cannot just get bags and bags of candy. That's not going to work. <sighs> and then number two, it must still include at least one fruit and it also needs to include at least one vegetable as well. How about zero vegetables? So they can pick whatever they want, but within reason. Now I love that these lunch boxes show each kid's personality and these lunch bags are definitely not like anything we already have. Now because it can be kind of crazy to take four kids to four different grocery stores all on the same day, we did end up taking several separate trips for the kids to pick out what they wanted. And we started with Mackenzie. Now, Mackenzie has really been learning so much about Japan recently. In fact, I even bought some really fun Japanese flashcards for her and I to study together. My Japanese is pretty rusty, so I'm totally looking forward to studying these together over summer break. So now, to go along with this, for Mackenzie's last day of school lunch, I thought it'd be really fun for us to head to a Japanese store called Mitsukoshi. Now, right off the bat, Mackenzie was super excited excited about all of the Animal Crossing merch at this store. And you guys, you have to let me know in the comments down below if you are a fan of Animal Crossing as well. I really know nothing about it, but Mackenzie loves it. Now you guys, even though this store had lots of really cute bento supplies and bento boxes, none of them were Animal Crossing themed. Mackenzie and I ended up getting lost in the store for quite a while before we even made it to the food section. There's just so many fun things to look at here. This lunchbox has Isabel, Maple, Marshall, Lily, and Stitches. And I think this bag is super cute because it has all these foods on here as well, which is perfect for a lunch video. Super cute. To go in this kind of lunch bag, you need a different kind of lunch box. So I got this to try. Ooh, that's cool. So this is very Japanese style. And I got this off of Amazon, and don't mind the water, I just washed it, so that's why it looks wet. But it has this top part, and there's actually three separate compartments Ooh. that you stack when they're filled. 
So there's like, first, whoop, there's the first one. It also comes with a little divider so you can divide out the sections and check this out. It also comes with a spoon and a fork. And if you turn it around, it's chopsticks. Hey, chopsticks. Isn't that cool? Yeah. For my main course, I picked this instant yakisoba. Now, we normally get the frozen yakisoba from Costco, and the kids really like it. Um, but Mackenzie's never tried this kind before. This one does come with a mayonnaise sauce, and I tried it. I think it's really good, but we'll see if Mackenzie likes it. To make this, I actually need to pull back the lid and then take out the little vegetable packet. I'm gonna sprinkle that all over the noodles and then I'm gonna fill it up with boiling water until I reach the line. Then I'm gonna close the lid and wait three minutes. Now this is not a soup, so I'm gonna need to drain out this water and then add the little sauces. This one comes with a mayonnaise mustard sauce and a little spice packet, so I think we're gonna leave the spice packet out, right Kenzie? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna mix this up well and then I'm gonna add it to the bottom section of this super cute bento. For my fruit, I picked strawberries, blueberries, and kiwis. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this entire center section with a variety of fruits. I'm gonna fit as many in here as I can. And I'm also gonna add a few blueberries to this really cute pick. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Isabel character because Mackenzie says that's her favorite. Now moving on to the veggies. For my veggie, I picked a salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, but I'm also gonna add extra cucumbers and carrots on top, and I went ahead and cut those out into these really fun flower shapes. And then Mackenzie, for your salad dressing, would you rather have a Japanese sesame or traditional ranch? Probably just traditional ranch. For my snack, I picked some rice crackers. These are a little bit salty and sweet, so they're very, very tasty. And for my treat, I picked something I've never really tried before. They're called Every Burger. No, I've never actually tried these myself either, but usually Japanese sweets are very tasty. These are supposed to be little burger-shaped cookies. Do you think they look like burgers? Mm-hmm. For Mackenzie's drink, she has two different choices. We picked up some Picari Sweat, and then we also got a pineapple ramune, which is like a pineapple soda. And I decided to go with the pineapple one. Okay guys, so next up is Jackson's lunch. And grocery shopping is definitely not one of Jackson's favorite things to do. So before today, he'd actually never even been inside an Aldi grocery store. Now, Jackson, is going grocery shopping one of your favorite things to do or not so much? Not so much. Now, Jackson, you are a pretty simple guy. So for your lunch, what did you decide to get? For my main course, I decided to have a cheeseburger. So we got some ground beef here and some really nice brioche buns and we also have some cheese in the fridge. Now do you like mustard, mayonnaise, or ketchup on your burger? Or should, we put, should we put that on the side? Just ketchup. Just ketchup. Do you I want it on the side or on the burger? On the burger. So for Jackson's main course, I'm just going to cook up a hamburger. I'll go ahead and put that on the brioche bun with a slice of cheese. And then to this, I'm just adding ketchup. Nothing else, kind of plain, is how he likes it. And to go with my cheeseburger, I also picked out some watermelon and some blackberries. Now for the watermelon, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little scooper to make melon balls. And then I'm also gonna throw in a few of the blackberries in here as well. I picked out some cherry tomatoes and some sugar snap peas, which I like to eat with ranch. In this separate container, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cherry tomatoes. I'll add in some of the sugar snap peas. For my snack, I picked out some chips. My favorite kind is Doritos. For my treat, I picked some fruit snacks. And for my drink, I picked Sprite. My hardest decision to make was to go ahead and let him have Sprite as his drink. Normally, I would say no, but today I said yes. Okay guys, next up is Lily. And for Lily's lunch, I decided to take her and Griffin to a grocery store called Publix. 
Now, honestly, I don't shop here too much because I think the prices are a little bit high compared to Aldi or Walmart, but Publix does have a lot of items that you can't get anywhere else, including Lily's number one pick for her lunch today, which is Jojo potatoes. Now, Jojo potatoes are technically just seasoned potato wedges. So I'm gonna go ahead and reheat these ones in the air fryer. And to go along with the potato wedges, Lily also requested some mini corn dogs. Can I please get some ketchup for the corn dogs and the potatoes? Okay, so with the corn dogs and the potatoes, I'm just gonna throw them in the air fryer until they're heated through and nice and crispy on the outside. And I'm gonna try to put as many panda themed things in Lily's lunch as possible because what's your favorite animal? A panda. And speaking of panda, when I ordered this lunchbox for Lily, it totally reminded me of something Mariah Elizabeth would make with the cute little animals and the treats on here. And I thought that these were pandas, but now that I look closer at them, I think they're actually cats. I don't know, you guys let me know. Do these look like cats to you? They definitely don't look, oh, there's a unicorn. They don't really look like pandas. What do you think? Mmm, I think they're cats. Now, when it comes to fruit, Miss Lily is a huge fan of lots of different kinds of fruit. So, she got... This has strawberries, mango, pineapple, blackberries, and raspberries. I also picked some cherry. Now, with the fruit salad, I'm just going to go ahead and add it into this really cute panda bento box. But then, before I add the cherries in, these do have pits in them. So, I want to go ahead and use this little tool to get the pits out of the cherries before I add those in, too. My favorite vegetable is carrots, but they gotta have ranch to go with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and load her up with plenty of carrots here. I cut these into cute little flower shapes. Here's the ranch on the side. And then for my snack, I picked cheese and crackers. And instead of just regular crackers, Lily picked these goldfish ones that have both the cheese flavor and the pretzel. For my treat, I chose panda cookies. But did you want the strawberry filled ones or the chocolate filled ones? You pick. Um, the strawberry ones because they're pink. And the very last thing I picked for my lunch was some Capri Suns. And I picked out wild cherry because I've never tried that before. Now that brings us to Griffin's lunch. Now for Griffin's lunch, we headed to Target. And of course we came here for lunch food, but we definitely spent a little bit too much time in the dollar section as you can see, but that wasn't too bad because when we finally got over to the food section, Griffin pretty much already knew what he wanted to get. And I know most of you guys won't be surprised to learn that he picked mac and cheese for his main course. I love mac and cheese. But you guys, while we were at Target, we found a brand new kind of mac and cheese that we've never tried before. This is a cheesy pizza pasta, and there's actually some hidden veggies in there. And you guys, the interesting thing about this mac and cheese is that it only takes about four to six minutes to cook, which is a lot faster than most mac and cheese. Now, I just wanted to show you guys this pizza mac and cheese sauce. It definitely smells like pizza, but it's not yellow. It's kind of brown, so hopefully it'll be good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this mac and cheese into the thermos and then move on to the fruit and veggie. And you guys, wish me luck. I'm usually not very good at pouring mac and cheese without making a mess. Not too bad. So far, so good. Oh, I dropped one noodle. Not too bad. Okay, Griffin, give it a little taste test. Okay. Let's see how it is. Does it taste like pizza? Mm-hmm. It tastes like really sugary pizza. Now, you guys, I have to give you my honest opinion on this mac and cheese. I think it's really strongly flavored like oregano. 
So if you're not a huge fan of really strong oregano, maybe stick to the regular mac and cheese. Okay guys, so I replaced the pizza mac and cheese with Easy Mac because I know Griffin's gonna like that a lot better. I'm gonna fit the raspberries, the grapes, the carrots, and the ranch in this really cute Ryan Bento. For my snack I picked cheese crackers. For my tweet I picked m and yo. And then for the snack and for the treat, I'm going to put those in this really cute Griffin snack box. And then last but not least, we have the drink. And for my drink, I picked regular milk. Yeah, I don't like caffeine milk. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it inspires you to make some fun lunches for yourself. I hope you guys have an awesome summer break. And you guys, let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see me make over the summer break.